I swear this this topic is gets more interesting the more and more I sort of research into it. Last week, on October 28th, uh, the San Diego Zoo uh, put out a news release about uh, discovering uh, parthenogenesis in the California condors. This is uh, unheard of, the very first time that this has ever happened. It is so cool. So parthenogenesis is also called asexual reproduction. And it's this sort of phenomenon that happens where a mother is able to give birth uh, or lay an egg without father, or without having sperm to fertilize the egg. Really, really peculiar. But we do see this in the in the natural world quite often, but it's not usually in birds. So the New Mexico whiptail, uh, for example, the entire species is parthenogenic. There are only females of this species, and they just birth whenever they feel like it. Oddly enough, so, so normally what would happen is you kind of end up being a, a clone, right? You only have one set of chromosomes to, to receive genetic data from, so you end up being this clone of, of your mother. But for whatever reason, in New Mexico, uh, New Mexican whiptails, they actually somehow still have genetic diversity. It's some like ancient genetic from when the species first like created. I don't, I don't really, I don't know how it works. Wasn't able to figure that out in my research. But, so this happens, you know, for this species, it happens all the time. For for these whiptails, you'll see it in some fish, you'll see it in some some other lizards or reptiles. And, and one of the interesting, one interesting thing about it is for invasive species, if one of these, if like one whiptail gets loose somewhere and gets brought somewhere, it doesn't need to find other whiptails in order to reproduce. And so you can have a population that starts by just one individual. So really peculiar. Well, anyway, so in birds, this also doesn't happen very often. It's been observed in turkeys, uh, domestic turkeys specifically, and uh, and chickens. Uh, there was a study in zebra finches, and, and what happens is usually you have a farm um, or a study that's filled just with female birds. And when these birds feel like they still need to reproduce, but they don't have any males around, some for some reason something clicks and they'll actually start to have uh, fertilized eggs. Now, most of the time these eggs are inviolable, can't create baby turkeys from them, but sometimes, sometimes they are. What makes this extra peculiar with the California condors is they actually had males present. And it happened in two different condors. Yeah, San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance Conservation Scientists report first confirmed hatch, hatching of two California condor chicks from unfertilized eggs. Two. And it's not from the same mother, which makes this so strange. These condors have had uh, mates in the past, and some of them have had, and one of, one of the mothers I think has had has had uh, additional clutches later. And, and you know, a lot of times you wouldn't actually like discover this while you're out in the wild. You wouldn't necessarily know that this happened, uh, especially if there are males around. Um, but because the California condors are so endangered, they do genetic testing of them in their regular care of these birds. And that's how they were able to discover that it was in fact protheogenic and not sort of a normal sort of uh, sperm fertilization. Fascinating, really fascinating. Ah, you know, so something, these results represent only two documentations in the country. Covering could be significant demographic implications. Although one chick passed away in 2003 at age two, the other 2017 at age eight. The team plans on continuing future genotype efforts in the hopes of identifying other parthenogenic cases. These findings now raise questions on whether this might occur undetected in other species. So something that I don't quite understand yet is these chicks were born uh, in 2001 and 2011, it looks like. So I don't know why this article is just coming out now. It seems like it already happened. I don't quite, I don't understand. But for whatever reason, October 28th, 2021, that's when they announced 
the discovery in the Journal of Heredity, the official journal of American Genetic Association. So cool, but it didn't happen last week. The, the birds didn't hatch last week. So somebody, you know, if you know, tell me why it takes so long for this announcement to come about. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you actually understand why we would announce it now when they probably have the, the genetic data from a long time ago. Or did they just they just do the testing recently? Seems peculiar. Either way. And that's your wildlife update for the week. Be sure to check out this story. Uh, this was actually a really cool article as well. So, check it out. Highly recommend this one right here.